he's been building this like absolute magnificent landscape of Thailand and it's Atu Atuaya, right? Atuaya. Atuaya. It's quite impressive. Today we are at a restaurant that I came to, I don't know, three, four years ago. Uh, maybe five years ago, but it's called Three Sisters. It's in the Klong Kong area of Koh Lanta. And uh, yeah, I really like it. It's got really affordable food. Uh, they've got great cooks in the kitchen here. I'm assuming the place is run by Three Sisters. I think I've met a few of them over the years. But yeah, there's uh, me and Kyle and a couple other friends are here. Waiting for our meal right now. And we'll uh, show you the food when we get it. But uh, pretty excited. Haven't eaten yet today. Pretty hungry. So bear with us and we'll give you a little view of our food when it comes to the table. Okay, we got some food here. Got the Pad Pao, double egg, chicken, pie yeah, salad. Pad Pao over here. So we got like a glass noodle, prawn, seafood. Bob's got the chicken cashew. John's got the, the cow soy chicken. How was your cow soy chicken so far? It's very good. Yeah. It's very good, yeah. You've had it before, you know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, not too spicy. I get it like a medium spice, but. Yeah. yeah. How was your uh, meal, Chewy? Good? Good? Yeah. How do you say medium okay. spice? Well, Kyle, you want to try yours and let me know how it is? I'm waiting for the stuff. Thick num pop. Ah. Look at this, you already have it. I did, I, I asked for it when I ordered. We have to like roll back so many layers to get to the. Over the egg here. Perfect flavor, my perfect flavor. We're so far removed. We're so far removed. Like, like what would be if you could pick one thing to do? Very good. Very good. I never would have imagined that you would have got a hot um, corral at a Thai restaurant. Oh wow, man. <laughs> Let me try some pie salad here. It's supposed to be really spicy. Let's we'll see. That one wasn't too bad. That's good. Fresh. Not crazy spicy, but probably the best papaya salad of my trip so far. Can't go wrong for yeah, it's the best one so far. Well, I've only had two. Well, I had one at that resort we stayed at that was really spicy. Oh, yeah, like, you know, this one, yeah, the second one I've ordered, so it's really good. I approve. So, uh, arrived at this special beach that I kind of found a few years ago. Just, you can scoot all the way in now. You used to be able to have to walk in. On Koh Lanta, there's this one beach called, I think it's called Beautiful Beach. And to the north of the beach, there's a bit of beach that you can kind of traverse through or drive to and just like 100 meters up or something called Secret Beach. I was going there for years. Then I found that if I walked, walked south of Beautiful Beach, I found a path that was kind of up through the, up through the mountains or the cliffside. And it uh, brought me to this beautiful beach that I coined super secret beach it's got a bit of rocks but during low tide it's got a nice little patch of white sand and great snorkeling it's pretty low tide right now so I see a lot of the rocks but yeah, there's a nice little it's Frederick down there he booted, he booted up there ahead of me but yeah very nice beach very small usually there's no one on it not too many people know about it here on Koh Lanta. And uh, I'm not going to say it's the best beach here on the island, but it's certainly a nice little slice of paradise. If you're looking for a quiet place, maybe a little bit of a secret place, you know, to bring your special someone to or bring some friends to, and decent snorkeling. Sometimes I'll see fishermen out here doing some fishing, but this is the path down here. There's a couple ways to get down to this little spot, but I used to go on a steeper path before. This one's a little, a little more walkable, not quite as steep. A couple coconut trees up here, just hanging out. Sometimes I'll be here on the beach 
you know, I'll see guys climb all the way up these trees with these little rope attachments they use. And they'll be up there just hacking down the, the coconuts. The old coconuts here, all dried up. And go and sell them in the market or bring them home to their family or whatever they do with them, you know. Keep them for their, keep them for themselves. But yeah, nice, nice beach. Nice beach. Super secret beach, I call it. If you ever get a chance to come to Colanta, definitely worth checking out. 100%. So I'm here today at my favorite gym on Colanta. It's called Luke's Gym. With here with one of the one of the original owners here of Luke's Gym, Bo, my friend I've known for about six, six years now. And uh, yeah, she's been a real good friend of me over the years. And we're just at our gym, so I thought I'd show show you guys around my, my favorite gym on Koh Lanta. If you ever get a chance to come, it's in like the middle of the island on what they call Elephant Road, but you can find it on like Google Maps or on Google. So it's gonna, this is their like little little bar in front of the uh, gym where you can come get protein shakes and fresh herb herb teas and whatnot. It's a cool Luke's Gym shirt. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take you for a little walk around the gym here. Show you the facility. They built everything from scratch here. It was just a uh, just dirt and rocks. So they had to clear it all out. Put the the water, the drainage. Oh, look at this oh, handsome hey. guy here. Who are you? You smell like you're from Canada. Yes. <laughs> just finished a uh, a grind. How, how do you feel about the gym here? You like it? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. It's my favorite gym on the on Lantia, so. Everything you need, right yeah. here. Everything you need. Nice hat. Thanks. I should get one of those. Yeah, you should pick one up. <laughs> this is the inside here. Got, uh, they've got some treadmills and and ellipticals and bikes. They got the the red black theme going in here. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty great gym. It's got everything you need: multiple air conditioners, fans. We got some lockers back here with uh, showers for the men and women, toilets. Lots of young, healthy people in here working out. Oh yeah. Some free weight section over here. Area for you, your yoga mats. Yeah, if you're ever in Koh Lanta, check out Luke's Gym. Highly recommend it. Uh, can't say nothing good things about it. So, if you need water, you need protein shakes, they got it all here. And if you want to get a Luke's Gym shirt, you can get that too. So, check it out. Don't sleep on Luke's Gym. So we, uh, the wolf pack. The Bo. Wolf pack. Bo and Frederick here with me. We're gonna hit up uh, Baja Taco. My friend here that I met like two or three years ago, Sam. She has Baja Taco, best Mexican food place on the island. Maybe in all of Thailand, from better, my experience over. <laughs> so I told everyone to come down today. Used to have to book an appointment, but they have uh, just drop in only now. You can come whenever you want. They're open from like 12 o'clock to four o'clock. So you can stay afterwards, but you gotta get your food order in before four o'clock, I think. So it's kind of an off the beaten path place. It's past Old Town on the sunri sunrise side of the island. And they, yeah, they have a nice little operation here. This is a, kind of the, the restaurant here. It's right along the beach out there. It's quite awesome. Saudi Cup. This is the operation here. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Welcome back, sorry. I'm... These are my friends, Frederick and I don't know if you know Bo. Hello, ladies. Making, they're making the magic happen here. The Mexican crew. Looks good, looks good. Is Coke here? Yeah, Coke, yeah, please. Oh, I'll go say hi to Coke. She, uh, Lived in Washington State for a long time and married a guy and had a had a son. He's over here. Half a Americano, half Thai, super handsome. He has these really cool Hey buddy! Hey He's been building this like absolute magnificent landscape of Thailand and it's Atu Atuaya, right? Atua. It's quite impressive. I'm putting it on my YouTube channel. Sure, man. Nice to see you again, brother. You, man. It's been a while. Yeah, it's it's quite robust. Yeah. Very intricate. If you come down and see, 
he's got it like scaled to a certain size, but everything is. Yeah. You want to you want to explain it sure. to the camera? Sure. So, please? this is the old capital city of Siam. Yeah. Right? Okay. It looked like it's 1700, and in 1700, this was the biggest city in the world with one million people. But all the temples today are in ruins. So this temple over here, for example, today it's all just bricks. But what it used to be is gold and filled with oh. uh, gems and such. But yeah, a million people lived in this city. One meter is one kilometer in my scale, and one centimeter is 10 meters. So the heights of every single section is measured accurately, and the lengths of the streets and the canals. Wow. And how long have you been working on this for now? This city and my old Bangkok model way over there, okay. it's been three years, every day for three years for 40 square meters worth wow. of city. I remember when I was here in 2021, Yeah. and you were showing me this, and I was just like, wow, this is so intricate and so impressive. Yeah. What, what inspired you to do this? Um, when I was a little kid, uh, I used to play on the beach over here. Yeah. And all the beach is made out of rocks. And I used to pretend that each little rock was a building in like massive cities like that. Okay. And then when I moved to Bangkok... He's got a whole other one over here. Look how huge this is. And you know, what is all this here? This is Bangkok? This is Bangkok in 1870 to 1910. Okay. So Bangkok a little bit more than 100 years ago. Okay. Yeah. This outer area here, this is Chinatown. And then way over there is the old city wall. And inside the old city wall, that's where the Grand Palace is in Khao San Road. Today, wow. Bangkok is 200 times bigger than this. 200 times bigger? Yeah. What's this area right here? These are all fruit orchards. You see, okay. Bangkok, back in this period, was surrounded by fruit orchards, which today, there's only 15 square kilometers of left. Oh, wow. But back then, there was probably hundreds and hundreds of square kilometers of fruit orchards. And today, they're all gone and replaced with buildings. Of course, right? <laughs> yeah. But all the bricks that make up the temples, the walls of Bangkok, came from the ruins of Ayutthaya, the, okay, old, the other okay. model over there, yeah. Yeah, that's quite impressive. Yeah. So you still, what's the, what's, the, what's the most recent part that you've been working on? At the moment, it's all, just everything is everywhere, every time I work on it. Okay. I don't work on one section, I work at everything at once. Just got it all figured out. Exactly. <laughs> and it's all made from recycled paper, toothpicks, and sponge for the trees. Wow. Yeah. Where do you get all of your supplies to do all this? Uh, I get donations from bars on the island. They give me uh, hundreds and hundreds of liquor cartons. Oh, um, wow. If you look underneath here, this is all oh, liquor okay. cartons. And it's Samsung. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. And uh, my source material or is like Google Earth I get for the dimensions okay. uh, from satellite imagery. But then I also have to look at old maps and old photographs and old books, try to get as many sources as I can in order yeah. to justify what the model looks like. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. And how old are you now, Coke? 21. 21. This guy, he's going all the way to the top. <laughs> Just a genius this guy is. <laughs> I wish I had that kind of uh, caliber of consistency and knowledge when I was 21. <laughs> if you come over here, you really get the light on the, the gold of the temples, particularly in the palace area. Yeah. It's just so impressive. There's 136 temples inside the wall here. 136 temples. Wow. And you said you've been working on this for about three years now, you said? Yeah, three years, four years, or like total, but like six years developing the style of art. But like these two projects have been about three years. Did you start that one over there first or this one here? Uh, it, yeah, technically I started that one first, but it's been both at the same time. I'm okay. working on them at the same time. Okay. I go back and forth. Like wow. I, every month I like switch it up. Well, thanks for showing me, man. This is, mm -hmm. the audience is going to love it. This is uh, very impressive. If I can pay Yeah, yeah, have, it, have at her. But yeah, so there you go. This is... <laughs> And all these temples would have been gilded with gold. So this is all cardboard, right? All these things yeah, here? Yeah, all cardboard. The, uh, the trees are a sponge, though. Okay, the trees sponge. Are sponge. Yeah. Oh. That's very impressive. Thanks for showing me that, man. So our food has arrived. We're here at uh, Baja Taco. My friend that I met a couple years ago, she owns this place and runs it. She's a very nice Thai lady named Sam. I got the grilled chicken burrito here. Frederick has the, the beef taco. Ground beef. Ground beef taco. And Bo has the shrimp taco. Comes with some, some hot sauces and salsa and pico de gallo. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna dig in here, see how it is. Gonna throw a little hot sauce on there, is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's smart. Power move, yeah, power move. That's like a like a green salsa. I need every sauce. I will 
<laughs> or everything. This one I think is the best one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one. Okay. Oh, there you go. Get it on there. Oh, it's perfect now. One <laughs> more? No, thank you. Try it. Let me know what you think. Here's a napkin if you guys need a napkin. Give it. Yeah, try. And I want. I'm curious what you think. Okay. Yeah. See you first, or? Yeah, you can go. You're ready. Give it a go, Frederick. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a good bite. Very good. Very good time. Yeah. Good. Very good. Very good. I'll just set my guy up here and see if I can do a video of myself eating here. There we go. I'm gonna throw a little bit of, a little bit of this pico de gallo on here. He loved talk to me. Yeah, the dog's <laughs> like, give me food, give me food. Got a couple dogs around here, they're looking pretty hungry. I'm sure they're well fed. A little bit of hot sauce there. Mm. Really, really good. Caliente. Very and good. Right here, I will Very come good. to buy many times. What's the white on your table? Six like like sour cream and pico oh. de gallo together. Oh, nice. Very good. That's a solid eight and a half out of 10. Best Mexican food I've had in a while. So we're uh, post dinner. Got some full bellies here. Just making a quick stop at uh, this Swedish bar that I went to like three years ago, I wanna say, four years ago. It's like one of my favorite bars on the island. They got great pool, they got great, great, great sports bar. There's lots of TVs going, different sports games going on the TVs and um, right along the main road here in the start of like Long Beach area but uh, yeah these guys uh, Chris and Jimmy uh, two Swedish friends for like a long time they run this place they got maybe another silent partner uh, uh, Chris is like longtime girlfriend Shantana is like kind of also running the show here with these guys but yeah we'll take you inside for a quick peek here Unfortunately, Jimmy and Chris are out right now having fun somewhere else, but uh, yeah, great guys. And uh, I'll throw this on YouTube for them and support, support the local businesses here because you know a lot of people try to come around and you know spend their money and stuff, but we're, we, we do that too. But today we're just coming through, showing the bar off, going to the next place. So if you're ever in, if you're in Colanta, Harry's Sports Bar, great place, great place. Front today of uh, this tattoo shop that I that I got my first Thailand tattoo at, and I think the only Thailand tattoos I've ever got. Uh, a friend of mine too that I met at the one of the local bars here that his, him and his brother own called Finstone Bar. They uh, have a tattoo shop as well. It's called Lucky Ink Tattoo. Just along one of the main roads here in Klong Kong, uh, Koh Lanta on the island of Polanta, kind of the middle of the island. They've been here for quite a long time. I'm not sure exactly. They they were here when I came to Polanta in 2012. Didn't get a tattoo that year, but I got um, got a tattoo. I got a couple tattoos here over the last few years. I came back, and yeah, it's a great great operation. They do great work. They can do you can do bamboo tattoos. You can do machine tattoos. They kind of have people that can do all that stuff here for you. And uh, yeah, it's nice. They got air conditioners bumping in here. Pretty nice area. 
is my, this is my guy, Hi, Junior. Man. Hi. Great friend of mine that I've known for like 12 years now. Yeah, no doubt. He's always willing to help me out, help me book a room, give me a tattoo, or get one of his, get one of his workers to give me a tattoo because he owns the place. So yeah. he's got quite a few tattoos himself. He's got the sleeve, and he's got somewhere around his neck there, and legs, so. Good man. Yeah. Good man right here. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna get a tattoo today. Me too. Good and man uh, too. I leave tomorrow. So I came in here, wasn't really planning on doing something, but I had an idea when I came here to do a tattoo of a cat that passed away when I, my uh with maybe the love of my life. <laughs> His name was Benny Hanna, so I'm gonna get a little cat cat tattoo and tribute to him today. We're just helping uh Nuck the manager here, he was helping me design the, the tattoo, so yeah, if you're ever in Colanta. Look up Lucky Ink Tattoo. They're on Google Maps. They're on, you know, the internet. You can check them out. They got a Facebook page. They have Instagram. Come here, support the local businesses, and uh, you won't be disappointed. They got they got great great stuff. I've had many friends that have had tattoos here over the years. They're always coming back to get more. So you pay for what you get, right? These guys they do a good, really good job. So check them out. Lucky, yeah. Lucky Ink Tattoo. Yeah. Next uh, stop here for my food adventures. Is a vegan, vegetarian restaurant here on Koh I think it's actually vegan, maybe vegetarian. We'll ask Jen when I get inside here. It's called Habitat Bar and Restaurant. Uh, owned by my friend Jen, who's from America. I met her on my last trip to Koh in 2021, during the COVID years. And she lives uh, down south and she opened up a restaurant here. Restaurant and bar. And she herself, I believe, is a vegetarian, or maybe I think she's a vegan, actually. So there's not really a whole lot of options for just like vegan places on Colanta. There's a lot of vegetarian food to have, but vegan, you know, that's always a little bit trickier for the people that are eating that way. So this is her place here, Habitat. There's got a little front sign here, right on the main road area. What would you call this, Jen? Klong? What's the area? What's this area called? Like the start of Long Beach? Pry. Yeah, they call it Pry. It's Long Beach area. So yeah, they got a pretty impressive menu. She makes like new things on a regular basis. I'm probably gonna order this cashew crunch salad with the blue cheese because who doesn't love blue cheese? But uh, yeah, you're 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 vegan, right, Jen? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Okay. So yeah, this is Jen here. I want to tell your story about how you ended up here in Colanta. Oh, uh, I came fell in love. Came here, island. how many years ago did you come here? 10. 10 years ago, okay. Rented a house for four years, then built a house. Okay. And I love it. That's a pretty nice house, I've been there. Yes. Nice infinity pool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great area. I don't, I don't blame you for staying here. I came here 12 years ago and I keep coming back. Yeah. And it's just like. That's what happens. Yeah. This island gets you. Uh, yeah, the first like five visits I stayed in a hotel. Yeah. And I was like, wait, you can rent a house? All yeah, there. yeah, yeah. And then I would, I would go home for six weeks a year, yeah. three weeks in the summer and three weeks at Christmas, and rented it out on Airbnb. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that paid for my annual rent. And Not just a pretty lady, a smart lady. Just, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I, love it. I love this island. It grabs you. Either, either you love it and you come back, or yeah. you love it and you want to come back. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. yeah. I was going to do a little walk around here and show yeah, them the restaurant. It. So we've got like nice big bar here. She's really kind of done a bunch of renovations since she took it over. One of our friends, Andrea, rented it out for a while, and I think that's maybe one of her partners here. Yeah. And uh, he's he's a fellow Canadian as well, with some Romanian roots, I think, and he's back somewhere in Europe trying to get smarter. So that's kind of their kitchen back here, and they got a washroom, which looks like right here. It's a nice little washroom. But yeah, it's a very uh, very good decor in here. Very upbeat. Got the signage on the wall there. I'm sure they probably have Wi-Fi here too. Nice little area here to sit down. Quite the feng shui. I like it. I like it. Nice big TV. So yeah, if you're ever in Koh Lanta Habitat Bar and Restaurant, if you're in the mood for like a healthier snack or if you're already a vegetarian vegan or you just want to Come try it out and support the local businesses. Upscale Come check comfort it out. food. Upscale comfort food, as she says. All plant-based. All plant-based. And of course, you know, you can enjoy yourself a, uh, you know, a nice shot of tequila or a mango screwdriver while you're here, or just a classic Chong or Leo or whatever beer you want. So check it out. Highly recommend it. 
I'll uh, take another shot of my food once it comes and I'll show you the food. But for now, we'll sign off and uh, just say come check it out when you get here. Great place. So I got this cashew, cashew salad. Looks really good. I'm really excited for it. She got the, got the fettuccine Alfredo. Is that what it is? All right. Which one did you get there? What is it called? Um, blue, oh, the blue cheese fettuccine. I think that's yeah. what you got. And then it's a... Uh, Some sort of soup? Yam soup, maybe? No, it's yeah, not yam. Uh, I forget the name. What's the menu say here? What kind of soup do they have? Oh, pumpkin soup. Yes. Pumpkin soup. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to dig in. Looks fantastic. My first salad of the trip. Trying to stay healthy, you know, in my uh, young age of life here. One salad at a time. Keeps the doctors away, as they say. Maybe they don't. Maybe I just say that. But, or maybe it's the apple thing. Apple a day keeps the doctors away. Well, same, same, but different. So I'm losing light here, but <clears throat> just had that post-dinner. And by the way, that food was fantastic. Habitat uh, restaurant and bar on, on uh, sort of Long Beach. Fantastic. That was like the best salad I've ever had on, in Thailand. Get a solid 9 out of 10 right there. Chicken cashew or cashew salad, crunchy cashew salad with blue cheese vinaigrette. Amazing. We're now at the next place here. This is a guy I met on my last trip to Koh Lanta. Fellow Canadian. Great man. Him and some of his friends opened up a, a Lanta Golf Lounge. A great spot. They got uh, virtual golf here. They got a pool table inside. You can get drinks, you can get, you know, kind of whatever you want here. And, uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd come, come by before I leave the island and show off the golf lounge. He's my, he's my guy. Hey, how's it going, man? Brian, just having a little, showing a little video of your operation here. You got the pool table here, got a nice lounge area. And then, I don't know if you want to show me your virtual golf area here. Watch the Blues Brothers. Oh, they're watching the Blues Brothers. Great film. Yeah, he's got a pretty cool operation. If you want, if you're big into golf, or if you want to just try it out and not actually walk around all day in a hot area, you can sit in this nice air-conditioned room, play some virtual golf, and you can hit everything right off the tee pad here. It's pretty cool. You guys been doing this for like a year now. You've had it, Brian? Yeah, since our second season. Okay. 16 feet. 16 feet to the hole. Well, I've got it set up on some pretty generous gimmies here. Just okay, to, just okay. Trying to get it close. Oof, hit it too far. He's putting now. I'm putting now. 10 feet, 5 inches. Go. Oh, I pushed it. Well, you get the idea. Yeah, that's a gimme right there. That's a gimme right there, for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty, it's a pretty awesome situation you got going here. Yeah, it's cool, yeah, so, got a Bluetooth speaker in here so you can play your own yeah. music. Yeah. Uh, basically, you pay for time, right? Yeah, So, yeah. depending on your ability, right, if you're on your own, for example, and you're halfway decent, you mm -hmm. can play 18 in an hour, no, probably no more. Okay, okay. Yeah, it saves a lot of time. Having to go into Krabby Town takes yeah. a couple hours. Yeah. Cost a bunch of money. You got to rent clubs and all. And that you're, you're the only golf golf virtual golf store on the island, right? Only or one lounge? in the province. Only one in the province. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you guys are in uh, Koh Lanta, come check out his operation, Lanta Golf Lounge. That's right? it. You can find it on Google Maps, I'm assuming, Absolutely. or Google in general, or Facebook. It probably has yeah. some social media pages. So Absolutely. check it out. Thanks Good for buddy, coming, fellow Canadian here. Thank if you're Can if you're from Canada, you're coming here. <laughs> or if you're a golf fan, support your local Canadians. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good day. So last uh, day on Koh Lanta. We're actually leaving in three or four hours from now. Going to hopefully catch the UFC today. Came into the main town of Saladan, where you generally enter into when you come to Koh Lanta, whether you're on boat or whether you drive through on the van. I just came to show you guys uh, my friends that I've known over the years. A bunch of them work at the one of the dive shops here. There's many different dive shops on the island, but this one in particular, Blue, Blue Planet, has been here for quite some time. They're in the main main uh, top city of Saladan, top town, not really that big of a place, but the most concentrated you know, population on the island live here. 
So if you get a chance to come to Colanta, check out the Blue Planet. Great dive shop here on Colanta. I'll take you inside and give you a little show of the inner workings here. I believe they have like rooms all along this walkway here. So if you decide to like get um, you know some long-term training here, you can stay really close by, not to worry about going too far in the morning when you got to get to the dive shop. So. Yeah, let's see who we see here. He's working. Who do we got here? And what's your name? Max. Max. Is Ben not here today? No, not today. Not today. I'm just doing a little video for my YouTube channel showing Blue Planet. Sure. Known Ben and a bunch of other divers here over the years, so just giving him the down low. If you want to come to Koh Lanta, you guys have people that speak German here and French and Swedish and English, right? Wait, are you French? Yeah. Okay. Did you meet Bell Brian? I'm Max. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you, Max. Some of their clothing here. Yeah, they got a pretty good operation. Lots of well-trained instructors from all walks of life. I think they have like, what do you guys have, like two two boats? Two, three boats now. Okay. One speed boat. Okay. This is one of their boats right here. You know, two of the other boats are out right now. Okay. Yeah, they're right along the pier here. So, yeah, great spot. Nice little relaxing area. Looks much bigger than the last time I was here. More chairs. More chairs. They, like, they all like to come back after their scuba dive day and relax out here. Also do great snorkeling trips still, right? You could do snorkeling trips. That's what I've done. I've done a snorkeling trip here before. So yeah. Come check them out. Blue Planet. Highly recommended. So I'm here today at the Fat Pig. It's a long-standing bar restaurant here in Koh Lanta. It's where I've come over the years to watch the UFC pay-per-view events. So today we got a big crowd in here, getting ready to watch the main event. It's on its way up here. Who, who's winning the main event today, guys? Who you guys got? Who's winning? Uh, I got Cheeto Vera for sure. Cheeto Vera, okay. No, no Sugar Sean O'Malley fans here or what? Yeah. Is it gonna be a sugar show? Maybe, right? Who you got? You got Sugar Sugar Sean O'Malley? Sugar Show. Who you guys think is winning the fight today? The main event. Who do you think you got? O'Malley the third. O'Malley, you think? Okay, okay. O'Malley in the third, he said. O'Malley in the third, okay. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be the Sugar Sean O'Malley show today, so.